Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's edition of The Daily Stand-Up. Without any further ado, let's get started. It's Friday, and you made it through our Foundations Week. Congratulations. There have been so many awesome and amazing topics that we covered, many of which that you recommended that I appreciate, and many of which that we kind of threw in there in the mix to make certain that we keep things light and fun and easy for you to consume. Today, I wanted to close out the week with a bang. I thought that we'd talk about a topic that I got in an email, but it's a very short topic, so I wanted to tie it to another topic. So I think you'll get where I'm going with this, so let me explain. The topic that I got via email was, can you discuss, can you please discuss in one of your episodes the three C's in a user story and why they're important? So I thought we'd start there. So the three C's in a user story. For those of you who haven't heard of the three C's, this is a concept that came about many years ago, uh, and, and it's just making sure that we're focused on the right things when we're creating an actual user story. So the first C is called the card. Now, I know that sounds kind of weird, but if you think about it contextually, that a story should be contained on an index card, and that if it's more information if it's on an index card, it's probably too much information. So it's important for us to make sure that we're leveraging and keeping our cards focused, that we're keeping our story small, to the point, focused, and uh, in a general direction that's going to produce something that makes sense. So that's uh, C number one. The user story should be in a form of a card. The second C stands for something called conversation. Now, conversation is making sure that we're having a discussion about the card. I often refer to the conversation as refinement, backlog refinement or backlog grooming. This is where we're having conversations with stakeholders to make sure we're meeting their needs. We're having conversations with uh, individuals on a team to make sure the team's all on the same page. We're having conversations with the product owner to make sure that we are meeting the acceptance criteria and that we're delivering things that are have been agreed upon. And we're having conversations with the scrum master to make sure that uh, we're keeping track of everything that needs to be tra- kept track of and that we're staying on task and that we're doing everything we can in a framework to make things successful. Then the third C is the confirmation. This is the verification or the validation to make certain that we are meeting the acceptance criteria and that everything is confirmed, that we're moving in the right direction. And I think that this is both confirmation with the team and confirmation with the stakeholders to make sure that what we're building is something that's acceptable and moving in the right direction. I love this concept. I think that if we focus on those three C's, that it's really going to give us, uh, it's going to deliver value and it's going to give us information. It's going to help us to be successful. So I wanted to tie this to another set of three C's. So those are the user story three C's, and those are incredibly interesting. But I wanted to tie this to the three C's for healthy relationships. So this is where it gets really interesting. So we talked about the three C's of a good user story. The three C's in a healthy relationship are different, but still applicable. So the first C is communication. And I think that's the key. Anytime you want to have a healthy relationship, it's important that you talk regularly, that you communicate both in good times and in bad, that you're always open for suggestions or recommendations on how to do things better, and that you're always happy to call out when things are going well or when someone does something fantastic or amazing. What I found is that when you're openly communicating with your spouse, with your children, with your teammates, with others, that that's going to help you to build healthy relationships and it's going to help you create that environment of psychological safety that you thrive for or that you strive for. The second C is compromise. You know, as much as I hate to admit it, I'm not always right. I think that sometimes it's important for us to compromise and to value other people's opinions and to ask their opinion and to listen to things from the outside. Oftentimes it'll soften our heart and help us make a better choice. You know, there have been several times where I've listened to commentary from my daughter or from my son or from my wife. And what I found is that when I listen to their perspective on things, oftentimes it changes the way I view things. So I I think it's important for us to come in with an open mind, but also to realize that we need to pivot. We need to adjust just like we do in Agile. We need to have that compromise in our day-to-day life as well. And the third one is commitment. Now, having been married for 20 years, my goodness, you know, it's been a long time. What I can tell you is that commitment is something you need to take seriously. And commitment isn't as easy as it sounds. I know that sounds crazy, but commitment not only in a relationship but commitment that when you say you're going to do something that you follow through 
I think that's the important part. You want to make sure that, you know, the other party, whether it's your spouse, whether it's your significant other, your partner, whether it's, you know, a team member, you want to make sure that they feel needed, that they understand that they're desired and that their work is appreciated, that everything they do is appreciated. And I think that appreciation is probably the lost art here. It's important for us to really understand appreciation at a deeper level. And I think that sometimes we don't take the opportunity to appreciate what others do. And uh, it, it hurts, right? So you want to make sure that you focus on the positive, focus less on the negative, open up with communication, really focus on what you can do to make a difference. And, uh, you know, and to make sure you make people aware, you know, if you don't show, if you don't show appreciation to those that deserve it, they'll learn to stop doing the things that you appreciate. I love that quote. I'm not sure exactly where it's from, but I love that quote. Another one that I love is appreciation can make a day, even change a life. Your willingness to put it into words is all that's necessary. And I think it's just so important for us, you know, to always be grateful and to make sure we recognize with gratitude things that we see that others do. You know, whether it's Walt Disney or Richard Branson, there's countless quotes that talk about appreciation. You know, Oprah Winfrey said, be thankful for what you have and you'll end up having more. If you concentrate on what you don't have, you will never, ever have enough. You know, beautiful quotes. I think it's just important for us to understand that the second three C's, you know, while the first three C's are important, the second three C's might even be more important. So I hope that this topic was helpful to you. I hope it gave you some insight and I hope that it helps you make better choices throughout your week. And I, I wish you the best weekend ever. As always, we encourage you to visit AgileDad.com where you can learn more about this. And by the way, tell your friends about this podcast. We're trying to get up to a thousand subscribers. So uh, hopefully you can let other people know and we'll continue to create this awesome work. Until next time, stay healthy, stay well, and stay agile, my friends. Do take care.